focus on your breath. Give it your full attention. As John Swite used to like to say, if you come to meditation having a background in generosity, it's a lot easier. You're used to the fact that to gain happiness you have to give first. This is why we practice in the context of generosity, why the Buddha gave the teaching freely. And when the people who support them, monastics, do it freely, there is no coercion. It's because of that sense of free giving, the, the joy that comes from freely being able to give. That's something we want to impress on our minds. It makes life a lot easier. We go through life expecting things to come your way before you've made any effort. Things weren't, are not going to come your way. All that comes is results of your past karma. You find things to be really good, okay, you've got to put forth the effort to make them good. And then the reward comes. We don't necessarily think of you know, giving, and I'm, I give this, and I'm going to get that in return, especially not in terms of material things. But it is important you realize that there is a trade going on. You're giving things, you're giving your time, you're giving your knowledge. What you get in return is a good quality of mind, the quality that's willing to give first. And see what happens. It's only in this way that we learn. Otherwise, we just see things passing by and we don't know what's what because we haven't put our effort in. As some of the Forest of Johns like to use to say, the path is one thing all the way through. It's a path of giving. You give your time, you give your energy, and the rewards come. The more you're able to give up, the greater the rewards. I mean, some paradoxical, we're giving in order to get. Well, what you get, you give back again. Everything gets given back until there's nothing that has to be given, nothing left to give. And that's when you find that there's a really great peace in the mind. But you have to do it wisely and step by step. You don't just give up everything all at once. You don't have to give what you can in a way that doesn't harm you. And then gradually, as your strength grows, okay, you find that you can give more and more, and your gifts get wiser and wiser. Like the gift of meditation, what you're doing here is training your mind. You're not the only one who benefits. The people around you will benefit as well. The more you're able to bring your greed, aversion, and delusion under control, the easier it is on the people around you. So there's nothing in the Buddhist teachings that teaches selfishness. Now there's a phrase in Thai, the word for selfish means hen get dua which literally means looking after yourself. And as John Sawat says, okay, there's an intelligent way of doing that and a, and a stupid way. The stupid way is if you're selfish. The intelligent way is you take care of your goodness. You learn how to give. And that way you're really looking after yourself. This is a practice that in giving up things we reach long-term happiness, true happiness. And that's a worthwhile trade. But the giving has to come first.